Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a hedgehog. The purple vibrators were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their sharp matchsticks, while visions of the spooky mountains danced in their heads, and Mama in her chastity box, and I in my cap, had just settled our butts for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from the Santa Claus to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the Jack Frost and threw up the Hope, the icicle on the breast of the new fallen snow, gave the luster of midday to objects below. When, what to my hairy eyes should appear, but a moist sleigh and eight tiny rabbits. With a bumpy old driver so lively and ribbed. I knew in a moment it must be Tommy. More rapid than eagles as Machete they came. And he ate and shouted and called them by name. Now little Timmy, now little Bimmy, now Britt, and Ronald, on Beatrice, on Kilda, on Captain Frogspawn, and the man with a plan. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now touching butts. Away. Touching butts. Away. Touching butts to weigh all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of skipping ropes and St. Nicholas, too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and farting of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in candlesticks from his eyeball to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with a stained underwear and soot. A bundle of microwave ready meals he had flung on his back, and he looked like a nude juggler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his ear, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his intestines like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as KKK hood. The stump of a pipe he held in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round nose that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and slimy, a right happy old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his pimp hat soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word and went straight to his igloo and sang the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving it smelling up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a butt plug. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a dripping Jesus.